it's Robo. We're back with another Robo Reviews, live from the floor of SHOT Show 2016. And on this episode of Robo Reviews, we're finally going to take care of my Oppenheimer Red Wolf Punisher build that you guys have all been asking for. Check it out. So, like I said, we're going to take care of my Oppenheimer and Red Wolf Airsoft Punisher build, which I use for all my stateside ops uh, for Airsoft. They built this for me in 2015, and it actually enabled me to leave my Canadian guns at home so I didn't have to worry about all the American-Canadian border rules that come along with that. Now, we're going to take a quick overview of this weapon as well as talk about some of the internal parts in general just to tell you what makes this weapon so special. So, without further ado, let's get to that. What we're going to start with is actually the base gun and all the external features, which is the portion that Red Wolf Airsoft sponsored and took care of for me. So, what we started with at the beginning is actually a base GNP Magpul MOE AEG, and we removed the MOE front hand guard replacing it with a Samson Pro manufacturing Rainier Arms Evolution Rail in a 12.5 length. Then what we stuck on here was a PTS angled foregrip by Magpul and a Rainier Arms Flash Hider. Now back here coming stock on the GNP MOE is the MOE pistol grip and the MOE stock, which I've left that on just because I actually like Magpul uh, accessories. Now, as for the optic, we put on an RWA manufactured short dot, which is a magnified optic from 2.5 to six times. I still, again, you've heard me say this in the past, you don't really need a lot of magnification in Airsoft just due to the maximum distance we're using, but it is kind of nice to be able to kind of select with this rotational dial uh, a closer or further view to verify where your long shots are going. Now, it's a great segue into the things that Oppenheimer Airsoft worked on for this gun. It's two last of the external features being the Retro Arms Fire Selector and the Retro Arms Flat Trigger. Now besides looking cool, the Retro Arms uh, Fire Selector is just nice crisp utility for fire selection as well as nice trigger response and uh, trigger action on the flat trigger. Now for the inside of this weapon, since you obviously can't see it, we're going to run through a quick list of what Oppenheimer did on the inside to make this such a shooting beast, which you saw in my Rebel Yellow. 3 footage. So let's get to that. All right, starting with the gear set, we've got a Siege Tech 1044 single sector gear set, just like my Canadian one. Canadian one isn't a dual sector, it's a single sector if you guys didn't catch the annotation. So just like my Canadian one, the American Punisher build uses that Siege Tech 1044 SSG as well. Now for a MOSFET, it uses an ASCU Gen 4 MOSFET. It has a complete bore up compression set, ASG Ultimate M110 spring, a modified quantum piston with full reinforced rack and titanium coated rack which is also glued in an 8mm dual bushing set from ASG, a custom flat hop, and an Oppenheimer 18K motor from ASG. Now in terms of the barrel group, it used to have a Mad Bull Python 363mm length, 6.03mm diameter aluminum inner barrel. Now I say used to because at Rebel Yell 3, I had a mishap and actually bent that barrel and drove it right through the hop-up unit that used to be in it. What hop-up unit? I'm actually not too sure, but to tell you the truth, I drove the barrel in there so hard, it doesn't matter anymore. I broke it. I've actually had to go and replace that. So now it actually has a Prometheus EG stainless steel 363 millimeter length, 6.03 millimeter diameter inner barrel with a ProWin M4 hop-up unit. Now, as I said before, it's still custom flat hopped and attached inside that inner barrel to give it extra stability and consistency in the shots. So that pretty much takes care of the external and internal features of this weapon, which provide its for performance and look. Now, you've seen how this performs in all of my Rebel Yell 3 footage when I was down at Oklahoma at Camp Gruber. Now, I gotta tell you, this was that first weapon that kind of changed my opinion of what airsoft weapons can do and drove me to actually do the same sort of modifications to my Canadian weapons. So for those of you who are looking to upgrade your AEG to get a high performance build almost to the point where it mimics a PTW, I highly urge you to look at Oppenheimer Airsoft's custom teching services. Now they're an airsoft shop out of Ohio and they do have people who send their weapons nationally to them to get them worked on. Now of course I will put all of their information and link to their website into the description below and for the actual base gun and accessories that you see on the outside itself, you can actually get them all at redwolfairsoft.com. 
Again, I will put that information and the link in the description below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick review of the Punisher build. Now you guys know what's on the inside, what's on the outside, and you can go out and build your own. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, keep having fun playing Airsoft, being good community members, defend what you love. Thanks guys. Well What's up, Airsofters? It's Robo, and we're That's terrible. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was awesome. Barely, I'm barely looking over my phone, and all of a sudden, Robo like, literally comes into my field. Oh, you're like, God. Oh my God, that was horrible. Have you seen Can you just like Robo? block off this area for me? Is that, can can you, you, like, I just need like this area to be blocked off. You need to be jackass. No, no, that's okay, dude. It's totally okay. It's totally okay. <laughs> Customers come first, brother. Just don't mind me in my crazy corner right now because I'm going to be really self-conscious. Just, just let you know. Get out of here, Tim. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is where I get self-conscious. What's up, Airsofters? It's Robo, and we're back. <sighs> and put on a Samson Manufacturing. Uh, the f*** is this? Evolution. That's what it is. Now with that as well, we put on a Magpul PTS MOE uh, AFG handguard. Nope, no we didn't. Right, okay. So I'm gonna tell that story here. <laughs> I'm gonna tell that story a little bit. I'm actually not sure what hop up was in there. Doesn't really matter anymore because I broke it. <laughs> 363 millimeter, 6.0, was it a 6.03? 6.03 millimeter diameter uh, stainless. It's stainless. It's not, it's aluminum.